Hello and welcome to BAMPLAV. In today's fast-paced technology-driven society, teaching children manners is one of the most crucial things that we should do as parents. Our job is to help them develop social skills and help them show respect and interact better with others. Joining us today is Faith Nabagala. She is we are, we are very delighted to have you. <laughs> she is an etiquette, image and brand coach who partners with different companies and different individuals just to help them grow their personal and professional brands. She is a mother, businesswoman and enjoys shopping just <laughs> like me. Welcome to the show, Faith. Thank you so much. So good to have you here. Thank you, Thank you ladies. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. So ladies, just describe how the etiquette situation is like in your homes. So maybe, let me start generally, because first of all, I, I have one, um, a son for now, and I think one of the things that we are very big on at home is trying to teach him good manners, you know, how to talk to people nicely, how to be polite, um, how to look people in the eye while, you know, speaking to yeah. them, those little, little things that sort of boost his own confidence, but also portray him in a good light in front of other people. Um, but I think generally, there is an epidemic, I want to call it an epidemic or a pandemic, I don't know, <laughs> of bad etiquette, yeah. you know. And I feel like it's possible that even us as parents, we are not too sure how to go about teaching our kids this stuff. Mm. We're like, oh, leave the child, he's mm. young. You know, he'll get around to it eventually. But one of the yeah. things I'm learning is not to dismiss this young child that they have a brain, they understand what they are doing yeah. and that you can start to teach them little things. Um, one of the things that we do at home is the, we put a lot of emphasis on stuff. Say please, say thank you, mm -hmm. say I am sorry. Um, one of the things we've been teaching him is when you're asking for food, may I please have mm -hmm. some food? You know, not, I daddy, I want yes. some more soup. Yes. You yes. know, like, may I please? And um, like I said, the temptation is to say, ah, he's young, it was a mistake. Mm -hmm. I'll correct him on the second time or I'll mm -hmm. correct him on the third time. But I realize that time is running out. Yeah. yeah? Pumla the other day was celebrating Teja's birthday and she's like, where did the years go? Yeah. Yeah. You know, and you can wake up, up as a parent and realize, yo, the time is out. Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, your child is the ill-mannered one. Child. I know. Oh, the, window of <laughs> the window of education <laughs> has passed, <laughs> you know. You're at a party and you're, you're concerned about how your child is going to behave. So for me, that, that freaks me out. So every time I have an opportunity, even if I have said it eight times in the morning, Micah, you say, may I please? You don't say, I want. Say, thank you. Say, I am sorry. You know, when you're, when you're rude to someone, say you're sorry. Go and apologize. That sort of thing. So I would say there's an epidemic. Epidemic. We, we still have some hope. Yes, <laughs> she has some data. So, um, basically, mm. just to give you an example, something that happened recently, which I think totally is a good example for what she's saying. Um, I had there's a border guy that we usually use at home. So, um, I happened to put the phone on speaker, and my mom was there. Mm. So I called him. Let me just find a name, John. Mm. So I say, "Hello, John. Hey." <laughs> <laughs> Um, John, Bulonji. So my mom said, Eh, hey, 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 John, what you want, Damu? I'm sorry to speak Uganda, but I hope I'm just being, yes. What you want, Damu? But you know what Damu have to? You know what I mean? So that's an adult, of course. Yes. Now let me bring it back home. Um, when I'm, I teach children, I think that's why I'm here. I teach children, yeah. and uh, I decided to start with children because. If I teach only adults, I won't be serving my part, my purpose. Yeah. Kids, let them learn now, the way you've done it for your, all your children, yeah. and they'll grow into decent people, I should say. Yeah. So I started at age six. So the first thing I do when I meet his children, when their parents bring them and they say hello to me, I will greet them. Yeah. And a greeting is the first thing that tells yeah. you about someone. Yeah. Also, should I say their upbringing? Yeah. yeah. So whether it's an adult, whether it's a child, whoever it is, greeting is very, very important. Yeah. Um, so the way they respond when you call them, you know, Erica, yes? Mm? Mm. That's what it <laughs> exactly. is. You see what, what I mean? What? Oh, you know, <laughs> it's, it's that, those yeah. little things, those little things. And that's what we have to pay attention to as a parent, yeah. you know? 
that little thing says a lot, yeah. which we tend to ignore mm -hmm. as a parent. When you greet someone, I'm fine, thank you. Why do you add the thank you? Then you greet the other person, how are you? Yeah. I want to find out how you're doing as well. It's not yeah. just about me. So that's what etiquette is about. Mm -hmm. It's about the other person. Wow. It's not just about me, Faith, yeah. and not teaching you how to use a fork and knife. No, yeah. it's about how you handle yourself mm -hmm. around people to make them comfortable. Exactly. Okay? So um, I think that sums up what, also what, what Rachel said. Yeah those little things and I, yeah. that's why we are here yeah, yeah, yeah. the manners really matter yeah. and I really agree with you Rachel um, I come I come off as a calm person mm. you know sometimes but when I see my kids have disrespect like it I it boil there yes. like I'm always boiling because yes. I'm like if I let this pass like I don't want to let it pass if I see them not say please it has to you know I keep repeatedly reminding them do this say please where is your please okay mm -hmm. are you greeting mm -hmm. yeah so mm -hmm. like you do not like you don't lose it like like Rachel yeah. said time runs out yeah. so fast before yeah. before you know it they are 10 they are 12 yeah. and you're just letting it pass mm -hmm. oh she didn't say please I'll remind him next time wow. I'm just making sure I don't let anything pass yeah. in regards to yeah. etiquette and I like what you said it's not just about you but respect you it's know respect. to the it rest respect. yeah it, it is respect yeah. yeah and that reminds me of the time uh, Pumla shared when we were talking about uh, when we we're growing up our parents would call us to greet parents eh? and would be so agitated uh -huh. <laughs> visitors yes. but it was so crucial you, they would call us out of the bedroom come and greet come mm -hmm. and greet We're like these are not even my friends mm -hmm. but it's very important that we teach them how to greet with respect mm -hmm. yeah i like that you shared mm -hmm. that so when you are telling your story about the borderman i remembered i was in a conversation this week with someone who said that she, she was in you know banter with people and they said that if you call a rich munya uncle a man most times he won't say hello. He just say, hmm? <laughs> so she said, so she said she called her rich uncle, <laughs> and when she called, said, mm. <laughs> <laughs> and so sometimes money can do things to people's yeah. etiquette, yeah. or at least shows them how badly mannered they are. Yeah. For us, a principle at home. Um, in terms of etiquette is there is no day that we call up the kids and say can you say please can you say? Mm -hmm. if we're not saying it yeah. what are we doing yeah. I know. what in yeah. what exactly are we doing mm -hmm. so if I if I call and I say Bianca and she replies what I'm like okay so who of us mm -hmm. here between Brian and I is answering with mm -hmm. a what like um, we had visitors I think yesterday and Bianca was counting the guests and then she shouted mommy we now have nine guests. I was wow. like, yo, that means I, myself, looks have been shouting. So I need to, I need to back up a bit. Either Brian or me has mm. been shouting. So we need to back up. We need to back up. <laughs> we need to back up a bit. And then also them start to speak to them. Because now even us, when we want to talk to them, we go to them. We don't shout across the room. Yeah. So we go and say, hey, Bianca, could you please sort this out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or Blake, you did this and this. Why didn't you do this for us? That's, that's the example. When we are saying, you know, it's something as simple as a chore that they are supposed to do. We use the word please, please so that yeah. they know they that they, the word needs to be used. Mm -hmm. When they bring us something and we've asked them for it, we say thank you. When we, so if we, are not, if we do not have the etiquette, ourselves yeah. as their parents they they, there is nothing and i've always said this and we've always seen it we've heard it children do not hear they, they see. see yeah they, they see. see so if you have bad etiquette i suggest you call uh nabi <laughs> to help you before you start paying money to send her children and you, you're not going to have good examples when you're home with them. So yeah, for us, uh, that's our situation. Yeah. Well, now, so strangely, I feel like people always say that, ah, children of these days have poor etiquette. And yet, so strangely, you guys, honestly, mm. I feel like children of these days are better than really? adults. Than yes. adults. I feel, yeah, they, they could be better, but I feel, I think there's work has been done in that department, maybe at school if it's not being done at home, but honestly, and then there's also the issue of, you know, you kind of tend to hang around similar minded um, families and homes, so you may not also yes. be exposed yeah. to, what, to the rot that is in, in other homes or in other children or other environments. But if you ask me the truth, most children I have seen, practice etiquette much better than their parents, yeah. Yeah. at least in the circles that I have hung yeah. around. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I don't want to say that we are 
better behaved. Mm -hmm. Our kids, if anything, there are things I see from our kids that are yeah, actually better yes. that we don't For do. Sure. Yeah. But I think in our in my home particularly, on top of what everything that you guys have said, respect. Respect, especially for everybody as individuals, but mostly for elders. Mm. Yeah. There is this thing that children I see have. Mm. Because, because Auntie Rosette is cool, yes. that means I can, can go and reach it, I can talk a certain way. Yes. If I've not put up my hand to high five me, don't put up, don't high five yes. me, I'm sorry. Yes. Like, let, let, let me be the one to lead you. Yes. And then you follow. Now, this like we were at a party the other day, actually, I was there with another <laughs> girl. And then a parent came and then the child came out and said, so everybody was saying, oh, hi, hi, auntie, hi, auntie, hi, auntie. And then one of the children came and said, do you know me? Wow. Do you know who I am? Yeah. Me not, listen, no, this auntie is a cool auntie. Yeah. What? First of all, she, in our culture, in Uganda, that respect, to accord elders respect. respect. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, put me at my own level. Yeah. You, you're at, you're, you're here, mm. dear. That's why when you kneel, you sit down, you, mm. when there's you're speaking reason. to, there's a reason for all that. Yeah. And this is like, she I'm sorry. Even us were yeah. like, hey, hey, please, I'm wow. sorry. Hey. So for us, in my, in my home particularly, it's according respect to elders and realizing that we are not at the same level. Mm. Yeah. Do to your peers what you want. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. As <laughs> yeah, for us, it respect is very it's important. Certainly. Um, so how can a parent know that their child has poor etiquette? Maybe <laughs> Nabi will. Yeah, I think and maybe just to add on to that question, I think that as parents, and we probably talked about this on the show before, that rarely will you see that your child has bad manners. Yeah. Yes, like everyone is like, ah, my child cannot do that. My child is well behaved, you know, mm -hmm. until... Mm -hmm. So there are things you will see, and then, but overall, we all have a good image of our kids. Mm. Ah, my kid is well behaved, mm. overall, my kid, until they go and sit with kids who are much well, better behaved. Is it true that we all think I don't kids think so. Well I feel me, like I, really. Really. For me, I so don't agree. I don't no. cover I think there are some who live <laughs> in... If they are not, <laughs> yeah, if they are not well behaved, mm. I, I acknowledge and I know and but I But I know that they are, they are mothers but who yes. think their kids oh, yes. are saints yes. when yes. they are not. I guess because they are not doing their job. So I, say, I guess speak to that mother. Yeah. Um, <laughs> first of all, I teach this a lot. When I'm doing hosting classes, basically how to be a good hostess at home mm. or how to be a good guest. Ooh. I think now that is a guest. The guest. Uh, yes, first of all, you're going to someone's house. I'm going to Manuela's house. Yeah. I have to call Manuela and ask her, Manuela, kids invited? Mm. Yeah. yeah. First of all, mm. out of respect. Because she could have invited just me, yeah. Faith. And she has, you know, like a table setting, knowing that Faith will sit here, yes. Kumla will sit here, Rosette will sit here. And then I you come, come and join her. Thank you. That's one thing. <laughs> Secondly, so I come with my son, yet I know my son writes on walls. Lol. <laughs> I know my son is touchy-touchy. Mm. No, I'm being very honest. You're you know your yeah. kids. Yeah. 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 At your home, everything is cleared. Sorry, at, at my home, everything is clear because I know my son touches stuff. Then I bring him to Manuela's house that has all these nice dainty yes. things on the shelf. Things that, that I know. And then they are white. <laughs> and they are white. Thank you. She has white chairs. Yeah. You see what I mean? She has white chairs. Yes. I know my son spills stuff. I know that, um, as I said, rice chairs. He's, you know. So you have to consider all of that. Yeah. That's about knowing your child and accepting it. Yeah. And then, do you discipline your child even around people? Some parents don't want to. So I come to Manuela's house and then my son breaks a glass. Will I tell him that? And then you sit back and say, oh, you have broken her nice thing she got from Paris. Over whatever it is. You see what I mean? You know? So will I be able to discipline him? Will I be able to tell him? Oh, and say, no. to buy it. Thank you. Exactly. And replace me. So, um, you know, we tend to, you say you don't want to. Yeah. And if you get it, please first start on yourself. Because mm. it looks like you, you have a problem. Yes. You're not exactly. greeting your child in the morning. Mm. Like when they wake up and then for you to just say, good morning. Yeah. How did you sleep? Mm. Did you enjoy your night? Mm. Like just to have those conversations. Say that you'll be the Buddha man of eh? One day, wagambi otia. Mm. And there's no way you can teach your child. Can't. Then after that you say, Neil. How, say, do, how are you telling me to how, kneel? How, I've never exactly. seen it. Exactly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Let me just give another example, which is which seems so small, but it's, I think it's such a big example. If you drive your child, okay, before COVID, you used to drive your child to school and you always make a second lane as a parent. Mm. <laughs> I'm seeing some people. <laughs> are you who are they? Imagine reflecting on your Everybody woke up at, at 5 a.m. Mm. They're on the road by 6. Mm. All these cars are keeping their lane. 
they're all going somewhere. Exactly. I don't believe that someone woke up just woke up for just, four yes. at that hour. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But you, you think that you're more yeah. important than, than the rest, the rest who are in the... For you have places you're, to go and the rest have places hurry. to go. You're more in you're a hurry. You're more in a section maybe to Thank perform. you. Wow. <laughs> Whatever <laughs> it is. Yes, but every day, not even emergency. <laughs> every day you have a water C section to perform. You create that second lane. You prevent all these cars coming through on this other side. Because for you have to go and hurry up and you're honking, you're yeah, driving and, you're and you have insults. your child in the car. Yeah. As for insults. Every single day. As Trust for me, that child insults. will grow up. Insults. insults. While your and then you wonder why your children are back. abusing people. Thank yeah. you. Yet you're the one abusing exactly. the one drivers. Abusing. This child won't keep their, lane, their, line, their queue when they're having uh, lunch at school. Lunch at school yeah. They will not. They will not wait their turn for True. anything because they are being raised by someone who doesn't know how to to, to, to wait patient. his turn, to be patient, yes. yeah. you know? So, this buffet, when you serve <laughs> buffet, they are the first ones, they've run, they, they, you're they, they embarrassed yes. as a father. Oh, they oh, the queue. They, they, skip <laughs> the queue. they skip the queue. You know, it's, it's, what, what you're saying is so true, and it's only Africa. Yeah. The Japanese keep their culture. Yeah. Exactly. The yes, Chinese do. keep their culture. They, they speak right. their language. Yes. Yeah, exactly. They as have it as a first language. First they language. keep it. Yeah. They when they meet you, they will bow. Uh, like yes. that is the the then culture. Yes. Like then that. when they come to school, they mm -hmm. speak mm -hmm. English yeah. properly. But for us, we are like they will be American today, <laughs> whether they like it they, or not. And that's what it is. Yes. yes. <laughs> but I think it's very important. We are taking on the American culture. Yes. It's important, and then they have to find it cool. I think what we've also done is um, oh, I love we that. make it we make it seem like them speaking their mother tongue is not cool. Yeah. yeah. Why are we doing that? Yeah. You know why are we doing that? Yeah. They have to love it. Yeah. They because should. they'll need a, they will apply it, and the only person who can bring that love. Don't wait for your grandmother. Make them love where they come from. Make them love who they are, because that is who they are. Otherwise, they'll get lost at some point, and you've yeah. seen it. Yeah. They'll get lost at a certain point, and that's all a part of. You know, educate and how you raise the kids. Okay, maybe you've answered some of you know, the, <laughs> ba the basic manners children should have, but yes. maybe just to re-emphasize, mm. what are some of the basic manners children should have? Oh my, you already mentioned them. Those yeah. Are, first of all, the please, thank you, may yeah. I? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Basic. If a parent does not have that, yep. 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 True. then your children yeah, will not have it. Do. do you say thank you to a parking person? Person yeah. is helping you park your car. Thank you, you say thank you, person in your supermarket. You yeah. say please, may I? As a parent, yeah. you even say as thank you to your child. To your child as well. Yeah. So if a parent does not emulate those five things, which I teach all, imagine you guys. That's, I think that's like the, like the, among the first five slides of my classes for adults. Yeah. I have to remind them. Yeah. How do you how do you your colleagues? Yeah. yeah. This is professional training now. When I go for my corporate trainings, I have to mention those five things because I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. I know it. Yes. I have this struggle. <laughs> do people know? Mm. Now let me be also, let me be a coach. Yeah. Yeah. Do people know yes. that for anyone to enter an elevator, the people who are inside have to first come Thank out? Thank you. Thank you. That thing I've never Thank understood. You. Yes, Bambi doesn't people come don't easy. Say it, it, it seems normal. Easy. But mm. people enter before guys even a get taxi, out. Even a taxi. Even a taxi. Yes. Even a taxi. Yes. Even a taxi. Yeah. 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 You have not been taught patience. I told you a pandemic. You people were there. In the adults. <laughs> <laughs> that pandemic is in Bad the adults. adults. Not so Bad much the children. True. It when Kendra it emphasizes it's in the so adults, it's... If I do not go back to those, five, those basics, those mm. five, because of five precious what words, I think, when they're teaching children, please may I... That's what we call them magic words. words. Yes, the magic, magic words, words. Yes, yeah. Magic words. You know, thank please, you, I, thank please. you, please. Like those ones, okay. yes. Um, wow. And then, um, what's the question again? No, I think you've, you've think answered that. Answer that. Those are the basics. basics. Like That's the basic. foundation. Yes, of good manners. If you don't manners. have that foundation, yeah. right? if you don't have that yes. foundation, then, because that's just what politeness. Yeah. It's just being polite. What are we doing? Yeah. Yes. But ladies, when it comes to etiquette, what are some of those cultural norms we should revive? Because some have really slackened away. I feel like they have. Yeah. I, so when it comes to culture, let, so let me share with you like my struggle. Yeah. There's been a lot of intermarriage, right? Mm. So like from where I came from, my mom was a Mnyankole, my dad was an Alur. So for Banyankole, they are huggers. Yeah. They are like there's no December days kneeling. What 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 what? Yeah. For the Alurs who knelt, who hugged, like we are like we are very. Hello hello uh -huh. hello. Let's get on. You know what's going on. And I remember struggling like when I'd gotten married now to this Muganda. 
and his mom. I remember the first visit, I was just like, he could see my confusion be, between kneeling and hugging, you know, what, what do I do? And so, like, when it comes to culture on, on our end in our home and etiquette, mm. I've found that, one, I tend, I tend to encourage more of my children's culture, which is their dad's culture, mm. as opposed to mine because, well, mm. they're their father's children. Mm. But also, more importantly for me, it's like, what are the good cultures like what are the good things about the culture yeah. so so for example um i remember having challenges kneeling um later in my life when anyway yeah <laughs> but then that the, the the core of the kneeling is the respect yeah, yeah. right are you able to respect someone so there's these things of kneeling in the middle of the road maybe in the future it might not work but within the confines <laughs> within the in confines the taxi of, park in the taxi park and you're wearing your car while it's do you know i've not i've not got in the bank yeah i've knelt down uh one day gear yeah wow. i remember yes yeah because really? funny thing is it comes as an instinct yeah then you remember yeah. later yeah you're like oh i knelt down in the bank yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 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 But you know you know <laughs> you know on you guys in my power suit we have no on option and gave commands. Anyway, I don't know if that will happen in yes. the future. I don't know how that will work in the future. But the core of it yes. is to be able to respect. respect. There are people who respect. kneel when they're on the phone. Yeah. They're like, Senga wanga kumi de kuma vivi. You understand? But that's not my culture. So I'm not. I'm not. I'm not really. Mm. But now, for me, it's to look at what is what is the core of the actual mm -hmm. thing the that they want them to. Yeah, yeah, for them to do. It is respect, respect yeah, deep yeah. down. Respect but also, people. secondly, it is to consider the other person. Mm -hmm. So I was telling Brian the other day, I was at uh, the Lubidi sometime, mm -hmm. I had gone like you with the power people. Mm -hmm. eh? I was with a group of uh, people from those organizations which uh, have mm -hmm. people who are of a different color. Mm -hmm. And we had gone and I was taking them. Mm -hmm. eh, eh, eh. Katikiro came, where did I go? On no, my knees. <laughs> Me and Mululu, plus <laughs> Emunyahore, as in, what was yeah. I doing? Do you understand what I mean? But out to, if you're able to see, like, so you know that this is your mother-in-law, you know that this is, and this mm -hmm. is how they perceive, they perceive respect. respect. Yes. For you to be able to say, okay, right I will do I will as do. you, yes. But for me, now on a notch higher also is for them to to see it mm. and to respect mm. you back mm. like so t for someone to say oh no munyanko leba <laughs> she's on her knees she's not kneeling so well because yes. uh, as we don't know how we kneel up mm. instead of kneeling that kneeling that you do no, for down. someone to be understanding and say she has tried, she has tried I get yes. the and then to punish pumla if pumla does it but for me to leave call me <laughs> as opposed to your daughter-in-law you know she's having yes, trouble yes, she has yes. come and hugged you by mistake because she's mm. a Mnyankole, then you get so pissed off, then mm. you say, so you're to be kind enough to say, she has tried, I've understood, yes. na ye, Nandi ya gade that next mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe, maybe just so something to add something like that. to that, which yeah. is so funny, yeah, okay. which I always tell people, you have to save yourself. If, if it's the first time, I know we, some people are very, they say, man, I don't do anything, I don't want to do. Wow. Yeah. You know, yeah. maybe yeah. that attitude, yeah. 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 yeah? But what I say, it saves you a lot. Mm. If it's the first time you're meeting them, you kneel then. So the next time, they'll forgive you. Yeah. They won't judge you. Though. You just do it. Good There's some good impression. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Good impression. Yeah. That's the world. Just do it. Yeah. It will save you quite a lot the yeah. next time. And they'll, it, it will buy you, what should good I say? Will. Good will. Yeah. <laughs> it will buy you a lot of good will. Mm. And then if you're not doing it in front of your children, if your children don't see you kneeling, yeah. And then you shout at her, kneel! You don't kneel. Yeah. You don't kneel. So that's women, the thing. You have it. Yeah. 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 You we have it. You know, but, I mean, I but I tell you, me when I'm picking leaves from Dabaganda, I pick a whole tree. Because they have that... You move a servant to HT, but you have even spoken in Luganda. Yes, 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 
So I really, I really, I, I borrow leaves and I, I will refer to a conversation that I had with Pumla sometime again about our partners. Yeah. And when I had Pumla, this poor woman who is here on this show <laughs> screaming all the time, men this, men that. But when it comes to our partner, I said, hey, Pumla does what? All right, let me wake up and serve my husband. Even on the phone, yes. So I really, really, yeah. but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it is you just said, yes. And I really appreciate the, that about the Baganda. So, and I just wanted to um, emphasize what Manuela was saying, that at the core of even the Chinyankole culture, because we are huggers, yeah. is respect. It's warm. Yes. It's also warm. Yes, it's yeah. warm. I remember, Welcome. yes, yeah. I remember a story. So when I was growing up, when my grandfather was still alive, rest his soul, we were home, and because me, I knew we were huggers, my grandfather was seated. Of course, now he's old. He can't stand up to greet. Yeah. So me, I went and put my hand. You people, I don't know where the slap came from. But my father was we like, are what do you, what, what are you yeah. doing? As in, I just Can't put you? my hand. So I think what she was trying to say is having wisdom to know he's old. He can't stand. Yes, we are huggers. You go on your knees and, and offer hug. hug. You people, I was there with my hand like this. Whoa. My father was like, can you get on your knees? Yeah. yeah. I need to say something about the Chinyankole culture. Um, something that I found quite interesting. There's this thing, like the way they greet. They greet the elder versus the younger person. Now, mm. me and you can be here looking the same age. Mm. But the older person greet greets first. Yes. And they yes. say, cage. Mm. And then the, the younger person replies, Mm. 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 You don't just wake up to open mm. your mm. mouth. Mm. If you don't know what your edges are like, mm. they will even say, mm, you're older than me, mm. depending on who asked who first. Asked like, I, I thought I was. No, mm. you were for when? Yes. Nine. Immediately they establish who's older. The Greeting no, no, starts no, no, immediately. Also, and this is something that, um, but I don't want to make this about Baganda, yeah. but this is something <laughs> that, this is, this is something that, um, that Baganda forget. That also young boys knew yes, below the age, that age, under the age of 13. Mm -hmm. So, my son, my son, like um, Manuela's, my children are, are mixed, um, mixed. Uh, mixed tribe. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. His but father is from the West. Yeah, yeah. but yes. for me, what I like so much that Manuela you have said is that first go to the core. What, what is the reason that for that, that culture? Yes. Etiquette so should be universal, mm. not yes. cultural. Mm -hmm. It is just expressed differently, differently. in different yes. cultures. I'll give you an example. Yes. You will not find, and I'm sure this is in all African spaces, where they will not, it, the Westerners say, um, in the West, they say, close your mouth when eating. Yeah. In Africa, they don't say that. They say, mm. Tos Tos yes. or they'll say, yes. Yes. they don't say close your mouth, but that's what they mean. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it will be expressed differently yeah. in, in, There's in, a synergy. In, in, there. there is a reason. Connected. So just go, don't say that, ah, those people, why am I, why, why? No one wants to see the food the in your food mouth. In your mouth. No. Exactly. So when I, uh, someone from the West tells you, "Bana, eat with a mouth closed," yeah. a Muganda will tell you, "Bana, yeah, yeah, so that's, that's it. it. They won't say it. it's just a communication of the message that's different. Yes. Depending I know on we the should culture. close. I know. Do I see you close. Let me close. Okay, please. Just one question. <laughs> I would like to ask about the reverse. Mm -hmm. You know that because the core of etiquette is respect to the older person. Yeah. yeah. No. How about the not the uh -huh, very good. Thank you. Please That's give it to question. us. Give it to us. <laughs> the core of etiquette is not about it has to be beyond age. Okay. Yeah. Okay? She has just said to Swankula, whether we it's just us, we are yeah. the same age. I then I start wrong wrong and yeah. I don't want to. Okay. Yeah. It's about the other person, person. other people. Whether they're younger than you, older than you, than you, than you, than than you or same you. age. Yes. I'm you, you need now. to respect. I'm fine. You need now to respect I have everybody. Yeah. Everybody. Whether it's your yeah, sibling, you know for me, how I feel what? about children. I yes. When I feel like can. children are being... Not at all. You know, not at all. I will not always stand up for them. And that's why I'm just like, ah, can I cut you Not at all. So not just to hear that etiquette is both ways. It's about others. Yeah. It's about others. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies, for sharing. This was great. This was insightful. And in the next episode, we'll have Crash Course on table etiquette our beautiful setter was done by pink coconut our girl angie <laughs> until next time with love from bump love <laughs>